All right. What's up, everybody? I'm back with another two deals video, and we have some more Black Friday deals for you today. Let's get into it. So we're going to go back and forth. We have some from Home Depot, Agme 2, and Northern 2. If you've been watching my videos and you're still not subscribed, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss any deals. I'm coming with new ones every day from different places. Make sure you get the best value, best bang for your buck. No cheap tools here. So anyway, we have this DeWalt compound sliding dual bevel miter saw. Now, I know I showed you the one from Agni Tools yesterday, which is the DWS 716. It does not slide. It is dual bevel, uh, but it, it does not slide. So let me go ahead and open it up. You already see the price, 314. Uh, it does not slide, okay? It just chops down, boom, that's it. The dual bevel, again, I'm going to explain because a lot of people are buying gifts and they don't know. Uh, let me just show you a, 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 a picture. So it'll tilt to the left and it'll also, I can't find another picture, but you, you get what I'm saying. It also tilts to the right. That's a bevel. So you, that's a bevel cut, boom, and then it'll go the other way, boom. A lot of these just makes it say bevel cut and it'll go one way. And you, and you still work with that. You got to flip the piece over though to cut it again. Whereas, um, again, with the double bevel, you don't have to do all that. You just boom, boom. And then, of course, with the sliding one, you see this rail. It can cut larger pieces because it can slide across, almost like a little table saw, right? So, or a track saw, rather. That would probably be more appropriate. Um, so, that's that. hopefully that clears that up. Now, Home Depot has the DWS 779. Uh, which is almost the big boy. The 780 replaced it, but the only difference between the two is it has a little light. The 780 has a little light that has a really nice guide, and it's you know, and that's it uh, to show you for your cuts. But you can add that on to this 779, and that's usually what guys do when they find these, you know, two, three hundred dollars cheaper uh, than the 780. They'll just buy the little kit for eighty-five dollars and then slap it on. So you have this. You get a free stand. Now, here's the thing. This is where we're really going to talk about these stands. The difference between a stand from yesterday's Acme tool. All right, there's a difference between this stand, or which here it is right here, and the stands that came with the ones from Home Depot. And for convenience sake, so we can easily go through this, I'm going to just put them all together. So the 779, which to me is the better miter saw, uh, you're going to get to cho choose between this compact miter saw stand with these sliding beams, which will allow you to cut up to 10 feet of material. Well, to hold 10 feet of material. Uh, and you have this, uh, and it also holds 500 pounds. That's 500 pound capacity. And then you have this rolling stand that will hold 300 pounds capacity. This is not the heavy duty one. It does appear to be a new one, though. I've never seen this one before, but uh, it holds 300 pounds. Now, the thing about this, the rolling stands, they take up a lot of space. All right, these are compact for a reason. These fold up and they're easy to port, uh, easy to carry around, have a little handle and stuff like that. The one over at Acme Tools doesn't have the beams that slide out, but this will hold up to a thousand pounds. All right, so. And it's also compact. All this stuff folds up and it's just basically this little beam and you can slide it away. Uh, again, you're not sliding this anywhere. You just have to, you can usually, I don't know about this one, but the older ones you can tilt and you can fold up, but it still takes up a lot of room. So you just need to consider all of those things. You know, consider what you want and what you need. Now, if we go to the cart, you can get a little creative here. And if you don't want... The beam that comes with it, a Home Depot, you know, I re-itemized everything that makes the miter saw 253.50. You can come on over here to Acme Tools, and then when we add this to cart with the fall 75 discount, this becomes 314. Now, you could come over here and do that and sell the miter saw, and then you can have this compact one along with this the DWS 779 miter saw here. You know, and you might actually make a few dollars when you sell the saw from over here at Acme Tools. Just make sure you use this fall 75 discount because it discounts it $35. In addition to that, you have Rakuten. Now, if you don't know, Rakuten is a cash back 
a free cashback extension. So is Retail Me Not. But the cool thing about Rakuten is when you sign up using my link, you have to use the link in the description. Otherwise, you won't get it. You'll get $40 cash back in addition to the 2% cash back on your first purchase when you spend $40. So that could really sweeten this deal. Um, and for those of you that have already gotten your $40 or $30 bonus, you know, you get the 2% cash back. That sweetens the deal up a little bit over here. And again, you can sell the miter saw, keep this stand, and then keep the miter saw from Home Depot. Um, you know, you just got to work that out. I just wanted to go over the differences between the stands because it's a lot of them and they can hold varying amounts of weight. And then some are bigger than the others, you know, so it's all on what you, what you need. So mo let's move on because I spent enough time on that. All right, Ryobi has this fan. I love it. I've talked about it before. It's great. I actually also got that misting one. And it's funny because in the pictures, they all look the same size. They ain't the same size. I got that misting one from Tools Direct on eBay uh, when it was $50. My God, that box came. I'm like, what is it? What is this? It's like this huge fan. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to enjoy that this summer. But uh, well, next summer. But yeah, fifty nine dollars for this. I got it when it was forty nine dollars, and it I, I I mean I would highly recommend it. This fan is great, way cheaper than all the Waltz and Milwaukee's and all that. Works really really good, and this one comes with the two amp hour battery and a charger. Can't beat it. Love it. Moving on, let's talk about this Milwaukee oscillating tool. We got some real good deals towards the end, so stay tuned. So, this is ninety dollars ninety nine dollars for this kit. This is not a fuel. Uh, it has the the fuel goes up to twenty thousand oscillations per minute, while whereas this is eighteen thousand. I think you'll still enjoy this. I don't think that it vibrates probably that bad um, either. I think it's probably a very very good oscillating tool. It's not brushless, um, so maybe you might get a little bit of extra vibration. I don't know, but it comes with a one point five amp hour battery charger in a bag for ninety nine dollars now. A week ago, you could have got the M12 fuel for $99.17 with a 4 amp hour battery. But that deal is gone. Um, maybe. I don't know. Maybe this is still an old picture. But that's 169 And this is the best oscillating tool I've ever used. This is going to smoke that other one. Uh, it's more versatile because when you put a 2 amp hour battery in here or a 2.5 amp hour battery, the whole thing is straight so it can reach in more places. The dampening of the vibrations is excellent. And yeah, lowest full tool vibration. They not lying. It does. It has the lowest vibration uh, and great lighting and stuff like that. Really good. This one comes with a 4 amp hour battery. And I don't know, again, like I said, if this is an old picture on the buy one, get one free, it might come up something for the holidays. I don't know. But if you're unsure and you feel anxious, you could just buy this and then just watch this and see what this does over the next week or two. And see if they remove this or see if it does come down on a buy one, get one. Then you can come back and get this fuel. So moving on, we have another uh, bundle kit from Milwaukee, five tool kit. I, I really don't consider these little flashlights. They cheap. You know, this one might be okay, but usually these flashlights are terrible and I don't like including them. But this is a good deal here. You get a little hacksaw. This will do pipe just fine. Don't expect to do any branches though, cutting the wood like that it's not going to do that that well it's going to vibrate a lot this right angle ratchet is excellent this impact driver it produces i think it does a thousand inch pounds which is very respectable for a brushed you know inexpensive tool oh that is 850 well i don't really know what to say about that uh but i was really looking at this kit for a viewer yesterday that asked about something for his eight-year-old son my eight-year-old son, uh, the, here's the thing about the M12 line of tools. Most people would think, yeah, this would be a great kit. It's not real overpowered because you don't want anything real powerful for kids. You know, they they starting out, let them graduate to that and learn to handle the tools first before you give them some fuel and tear up a project or potentially hurt themselves. But the thing about the M12 stuff from Milwaukee, now everyone else is different, but from Milwaukee, they make their grips on the smaller tools bigger than the 18 volt tools. Like you're better off giving your son some M18 stuff because the handles are going to be slimmer. I don't know why they do that. And these are the most, they're very uncomfortable. I don't like them. My son doesn't like holding them, but he, the, the Metabos, not Metabo HPT, but the 12 volt Metabos he likes, he can hold those or the skill set. Uh, you, they have a skill set over at Lowe's for 199. It was $99 
earlier in the year. Uh, but he can handle those really, really well. I'm going to bring it up real quick. This is it right here. This was $99 earlier in the year. I think it was a glitch, so don't hold out for that. But he can handle all these tools really well. They fit in his hand perfectly, and it's really just four tools, and he's got the speaker. But, uh, yeah, you know, so that's what I would recommend. You just don't want to get him something overpowered, and you don't want to go M12 Milwaukee. 12 volt DeWalt, sure, but you're going to pay a lot more money and the tools are really powerful. So again, I wouldn't recommend that either. All right, so moving on, they had this Ryobi uh, screwdriver kit. Uh, you know, it's a little chargeable uh, lithium battery in there. You charge up USB. Lots of people, uh, I see like HVAC guys and plumbers had these little drills. I, I don't see the point in them, you know, personally. But I don't, I'm not in that trade either. So anyway, this is $25. Just thought I'd show you guys that because the discount was pretty significant, 38% off. Uh, then we have this Milwaukee M18. Again, going back to the kids, I think this is a good little, this is a good set right here. And you guys could share batteries and stuff like, and chargers and stuff like that. You could even use this sometimes. Um, $99 for this. If you, and this is kind of like the DeWalt from yesterday. Uh, the DeWalt was $99, and now this Milwaukee imp Impact Drive also, this kit is $99. But these two together is like $249 or $229 if you get the non-hammer one. Uh, but yeah, the kit for, for this and this is $249 and the hammer, with the hammer function. It does have a handle. Uh, but $99 is not bad here. You get a 2 amp hour battery, 2 amp hour battery, um, and yeah, there you go. Uh, I think they're, you know... Just, these would be better for kids because they could actually reach around and grab the trigger. But still, the Milwaukee ergonomics are not that great. I don't think they're really good for children. I, I would go Skill, uh, DeWalt, 12 Volt, or Metabo. Like my, my, like I said, my son can really hold Metabo too as well. Not Metabo HPT. German Metabo, green and red. All right, moving on. Um, you also yeah, here's great for adults right here. This impact driver it's the gen 3 fuel impact driver with the tri led lights very good deal here 99 dollars with a 2 amp hour battery and a charger and a case excellent excellent deal i don't even know why i showed you this if i'm being honest uh well i do know because even though this is milwaukee fuel m12 this has better ergonomics and it's more powerful because uh, it's M18. I mean, it's more powerful. The 1,600 inch pounds. This one does, I think, you know, it's 1,500 inch pounds now. It used to be 13 in the uh, Gen 2. But, the, okay, Gen 3 is 1,500 inch pounds. Still, this is better. But this is smaller, more compact, and it's going to get in better, tighter spots. And it has much better lighting. Moving on. There's a 2-pack. See, Quantity 2. Two pack of three amp hour high output batteries. I mentioned this a few days ago over the weekend before the tools went live, before the deals went live. And uh, this is $99. Normally for one battery, it's $119. Okay, so I don't usually buy batteries, but I will buy these because these have not been on sale. Sometimes you get them on a little hack deal, buy one, get one. But now nah, this is an excellent deal. Standalone batteries, two high output three amp hour batteries for $99. Can't beat it. Cannot beat that. That's incredible. Now, uh, moving on over to Northern Tool. And this is the last deal for the day. Okay, good. So it's showing us right here. So you have this Milwaukee Shockwave Impact 3 8 inch drive, six point socket set. It's 43 pieces. Man, that's a good deal for some, um, so for some impact sockets from Milwaukee. Now, I'm going to show you how to sweeten this deal up. You see it's $79.99. If you come to the website, let's, wait, wait, what happened to it? If you go to the main page, I'm about to say, I know that, that that did not disappear that fast. So you get a free gift card on all orders over $100. So if you spend $250, you get $25. If you're not going to spend $250, you're going to spend less than that. Don't worry about any of this because I got a $20 uh, coupon code for you. So you could just get this, $99.99, and you can use Retail Me Not. You got to be very specific here, very careful. It says up to 15% off your order. Copy code, but Retail Me Not doesn't offer any cash back here. And then you want to go to paste it in a little box right here, and boom, 
It'll drop the price down to $79.99. Then after you do that, you come on over here to Rakuten and activate 1.5% cash back. And also, again, if you're new to Rakuten, use the link in the description. You'll get an additional $40 off of that, making this whole thing like $35. Crazy. And that is how you end a video. So that is it for today. I have some more deals for y'all tomorrow. I'm trying to keep these videos shorter. Hopefully it was helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you.